right, Zatima fans, Lord have mercy. I know this is going to rub people the wrong way, but uh, during a recent interview where Deval Ellis talked with TheList.com, some information came out basically revealing the length of the Zatima series. Like, okay, here's how long every episode is. 30 minutes. I know, I know. Let me let me reference the paragraph. I'll leave a link to the full article. Don't worry, I'll do a video at some point going through the entire interview, but it's pretty long, so I'm just doing these bite-sized videos about important things. So, to reference the list.com, the interview will ask, can fans expect to see crossovers a bunch between the two shows or with people from Sisters or maybe even other Tyler Perry shows? And this is the kind of question I just love to ponder of different crossovers, you know, from characters from one Tyler Perry show entering into another. DeVal goes on to say, without giving up too much, you can expect to see pop-in visits from some of your favorite characters on both shows, from Zatima going to Sisters and Sisters going to Zatima. Now, we already know this from the character descriptions for characters showing up in Sisters Season 5. Like, I think Deja and Heather and a few others. Basically, you know, it's kind of like crossing the bridge. Hey, I'm going to go from Zatima to Sisters. And as DeVal said, from, and Sisters going to Zatima. It's going to be fun to see fans enjoying watching their characters also in a different light. Because Zatima... Oh, okay, this is it. Okay, I like this. Because it confirms. Zatima is not as much as a dramedy as Sisters, but more of a comedy. Remember, DeVal talked about this a while ago, um, say it was his dream to be, you know, like to star in a sitcom. So, yeah, it, it seems that Tima is definitely going to be on the more comedic side. I bring a lot of comedy. I mean, excuse me. I bring a lot of the comedy to Sisters, which is true. So when you see Zatima, it's a 30 minute comedy. It's not so much a dramedy, a soap opera like Sisters is. So you get to see those actors in a different element. So it's going to be exciting. And I told y'all this. I told y'all. I said, the Zatima was born at, uh, I forgot the episode, but I did a whole video talking about this was the moment Zatima was born. When, you know, Andy burst into Zach's house, basically, you know, confronting him and Fatima about quote unquote killing Hayden. It was at that moment. That I'm like, okay, this is truly a different vibe. That that energy between Zach and Fatima and Andy felt hella awkward. It felt like, okay, Andy stepped into the spinoff show. And then the moment where Fatima was like, drop on by anytime, girl. And then those two head upstairs and Andy leaves. I'm like, that's where Zatima truly started. Because you could tell like a war. I know I'm using these like weird description like it was like a warp in the energy of the show i'm like this is what i'm talking about it's like zach with uh fatima is a completely different energy from when he's with karen um we we definitely got this comedy aspect like like the Val said um i bring a lot of comedy to sisters and it's true all the various scenes like in the hotel what was it towards the end of season three when um fatima found out about hayden you know, sending Zach that message and whatnot. Uh, then she went into the hotel room and Zach and her had a moment and whatnot. And it, it's just, it's a comedy, which I know people don't have a problem with. But I know a lot of people are going to be pissed off. How the hell is Zatima only 30 minutes? Mind you, Bruh is also a 30 minute show. Now, keep in mind, 30 minutes is basically only 22 minutes here's what i mean by that you know typically when they say oh here's an hour-long show or a 30 minute show well technically speaking an hour-long show is like 40 something minutes maybe 42 a 30 minute show is about 22 23 give or take because of commercials and let me put it this way when i found out they were dropping allegedly all 10 episodes at once i'm like shit i was hoping to stretch it out because I could do discussion videos throughout the episodes, you know, each week. But no, they're dropping all 10 at once. 30-minute comedies, a lot easier to digest. And I'm here for it. 
I can understand the disappointment of people wanting the show to be as long as Sisters. Man, this is ridiculous. Zatima is the reason we watch Sisters to begin with. I want it to be 40-something minutes long. This is some bullshit. I know a lot of people are saying that right now. Or when they read the sentence, or if you're hearing this video and this is the first time you heard anything about 30 minutes. I'd rather take a 21 minute episode of quality writing and character interaction and development than 42 minutes of filler, repetitive dialogue and bad jokes. So I, again, I'd rather take a small plate with a very well done cooked meal as opposed to a all you can eat buffet where the food is half frozen, it's overcooked, it's bland, there's no spice. Give me the small portion. Not to mention, I have the feeling that Zatima is a test pilot season. It's only 10 episodes. They're 30 minutes long. I think that Tyler's probably testing the water to see, okay, let's see how fans react to Zatima. And if season one does well, then I'll do a season two and so on. That's just my theory. I do not know. But it makes sense to me. Yeah, that's pretty much the video. It's a 30-minute long show. I'm excited for it. Um, I'll do another video about this, but I don't know why, but somebody actually asked me a profound question. Are you nervous about Zatima in regards to reviewing it? And I'll do another video on that because that's a really good question. But regardless, uh, yeah, how do you feel about the show only being 30 minutes long? Uh, like I said, like in the early episodes of Bruh, I'm like, yeah, it's like sisters. I remember watching season one of that. I'm like... Yeah, bruh does it right. That's not to say the show doesn't drag from time to time, especially in season one. But that show knew how to come and go. It's like the only thing I hated was only getting one episode a week. But I think with Sisters in the early episodes, okay, this show does not need to be 42 minutes long. Because if you trim out the pauses in between dialogue and the repetitive dialogue, the show would only need to be as long as 22 minutes. So quality over quantity. Satima. I'm here for it. 30-minute comedy, uh, you know, 10 episodes. And if my math is right, let, and keep in mind, not every episode is going to be like 21 minutes. Well, I shouldn't say that because I don't know. But sometimes with like Bruh and Ruthless, the episodes go longer. Hell, there have been episodes of Ruthless that are like 50-something minutes. But here we go. Uh, so let's just say every episode is, I don't know, 20, let's say 22 minutes. Do it by 10, that's like, what, 220 minutes divided by 60, that's like, what, three hours? So, three and a half hours and some change? I don't know. So, uh, let me know your thoughts. Are you pissed off the show's only 30 minutes? Um, again, I'd rather have shorter, good quality episodes than long, drawn-out episodes for nothing. And, again, it, 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 given that we know for a fact it's a comedy it gives me Martin vibes because you pop in a DVD of Martin. It's like, okay, yeah, 30 minutes. Dun, 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 dun. So look, given that we know it's a comedy, it better have a kick-ass theme song. <laughs> That's the one thing. Look, I'm not going to bitch and moan about a 30-minute show, a.k.a. 22 minutes, but it better have a good theme song because I need it to set the mood as soon as the episode starts. And then when it does, I'm going to be in for a wild ride. That's Look, bruh, bruh. That theme song is fire. Ruthless is still the best theme song of all the Tyler Perry shows, but bruh, it sets the mood. It puts you in a good, like, oh, uh, with my bruh, growing up, growing it with my bruh. And I'm in for a good time, even though I get frustrated as hell with some characters like Bill, but I have a good time watching that show. I don't, I have my hope, If they, like I said before, I even did a video on this before. The theme song is the one thing above anything else. You know how I talk about character development, repetitive dialogue, um, continuity within Sisters matching up to Zatima. But the theme song of Zatima is the one thing I don't want fucked up. If you do it, I'm going to hate it. But I need that theme song to fit the mood. It's a comedy I mean, look, you got the Fresh Prince, you got Martin, you got the Jamie Foxx show, Wayne's Brothers. I can go on and on about black comedies that have iconic theme songs. Zatima can be no different. That's the one, that's the hill I will stand and die on about this show. 
I need that theme song to be fire. Okay, I'm done. So, take a moment to hit the thumbs up button to show you like the video. Follow me on social media. Links are in the description below. Hit subscribe and hit the bell icon and select all. That way you do not miss out whenever I post content on the channel.